John Elliott live at City Field. Good morning, John. I love this story, and you are going to love this young lady. This is Kathleen Wright. You are the production director for the entire parade, right? Yes, production operations for the whole parade. You did it last year, too, though, right? I did, yes. We're excited to be back to a full parade route this year, so very different than what we produced in 2020, but we're really excited for what we have planned for this year. So we see the balloons behind us. We also have Walter underneath, Ronald McDonald. How many volunteers do you have here today? Here today, we have about 200 volunteers that are going to help us fly these balloons. Uh, this is our first test flight of these balloons outside, so we're going to see how they react. We've got a little bit of wind today, so they're going to help us test fly them today. But isn't a little bit of wind good for you because that gives you the, the kind of the parameters, right? Yes, absolutely. Today, we always want a little bit of wind so that we can really see how the balloons will fly if we have heavy winds on parade morning. This really helps us know what we have to prepare for on Thanksgiving. I love this because it's science and art. You have to combine and you have to do you have the models, the people go by the models. Is it true they have to do calisthenics and warm up? Oh, absolutely. Our balloon handlers warm up. I mean, they're all really excited already, but we have them warm up and get ready. It's actually, you know, pretty tough to I be a balloon imagine. handler. Yeah. So, yeah, we make sure that they're prepped and ready. So, all right, correct me if I'm wrong, because I heard that there's Captain A and Captain B. Captain yes. A walks backwards. Pilot A walks Pilot backwards. Pilot A. Yes. Oh, yeah, Captain, Captain, Pilot, Pilot. Yes. And then Pilot B has the anemometer and is measuring wind, right? Right? Yes, yeah, so we have someone that's measuring the wind along the parade route, so they make sure that they're in real time checking what the wind speeds are so that we can look at our, we call them flight matrix cards, and make sure that they know how high the wind, the balloon can right, fly right, right. in each wind condition, and it's different for every large character balloon based on the engineering of that balloon. It's very dynamic. It's active science. Yes. So, and, and, and we just took her away from another news crew. All the best. <laughs> thank and, you so and, much. And I know you're busy, so thank you for your time. Thank you. This is great. And you just meet all these volunteers, too. Uh, we'll talk to more of those in a bit. But right now, let's talk about that wind and what you're up against. You see over my shoulder, not only Pikachu and, uh, yeah, maybe Baby Yoda, beautiful skies. That will change. Another view of the city, gorgeous now, but changes on the way. 57, mostly sunny right now. Wind out of the southeast at 7. Don't be deceived. There's going to be a dramatic drop. We'll hit 60, won't last long, and then the numbers tumble. Sun sets at 439. By then, some storms in the area. Area. We have a proof of that in a bit. Proof of their passage in the high temperatures. Not even 50 Sunday and Monday, so make sure that you are ready for that. You're really going to feel it tonight into tomorrow morning. Futurecast timestamp here has the storms in the city by about 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Remember, sooner to the west. By tonight, some snow, Sullivan Ulster. Then a break on Sunday, but man, it's going to be cold. Then another system brings in the possibility of another round of snow, and there you could see two to three inches, just enough to really slow you down. That's late Sunday into Monday morning. Monday morning's commute should be okay, but you are going to see a few leftover showers. And then remember, it is going to be chilly for your Monday and Tuesday highs both days uh, again just in the upper 40s. Do be mindful. Gusty winds could see some hail and heavy rain early afternoon as that front pushes through. It's such a dynamic contrast from today as we look at this and we think of the dynamic science that goes into these balloons. This is four. They have four new balloons. The volunteers they call it balloon fest. The volunteers they they use something called a bone and then they have to determine and they're going to be, they actually have a course mapped out, and they'll be doing that later this morning. We'll uh, have some video of that coming up a little later today. But, Cindy, this is great, and I can smell the gravy from here. Thanksgiving <laughs> is coming right now, right back to you. Wait, John, can I just tell you, first of all, Ronald McDonald, McDonald's is about my favorite restaurant, I have to admit. And then Baby Yoda is one of my favorite characters, so this is really exciting for me. <laughs> This is basically the Cindy Shoe Parade. Exactly. They're, they're just, this is an honor of Cindy, yes. No, we're both kids at heart, so I think that's why we like these things so much. John, thank you.